Hi guys, it's Leah Applegarth. I'm here to do a classroom overview in your Canvas. <clears throat> so the first thing you want to do when you log in to Canvas is go to your math class, whether that be algebra or geometry or any of the other math classes that you have. Once you are there, if for some reason you need um, to contact me, my instructor information is here. Um, and if you want to see, I just added this to both courses recently, is that um, the entire semester schedule is posted. So if you are looking at what we're doing in three weeks, you can have that information available to you. One thing that I found helpful was to have this to-do list here on the right hand side. So this student needs to turn in the Pearson login, turn in the chapter one notes, turn in the chapter one practice. Um, so it gives you a list of, it's just a quick list of things that are on um, that you should be completing. If you want to look it up more in a calendar view, you can go to your calendar from this area here underneath your to-do list. Once you are in your course, you can um, go to the week that we're talking about. In this case, it's week two. For the most part, we're going to be grouping our assignments in the same manner. On Fridays, um, from the previous week, we'll be doing the first half of the notes. On Monday, so August 17th is a Monday, we'll be doing the second half of the notes. So you guys will be note-taking Friday and Monday. On Tuesday, we will be practicing, and the first assignment is going to be practicing um, problems from the book. For Wednesday, you get to take quizzes based on the notes you took and the practice that you guys did. You'll have two tries on quizzes. If um, for some reason you don't get everything right the first time, you have another opportunity to come ask questions or to get help before you take the second try on your quiz. Then on Thursdays, we put together our chapter portfolio. And there's a portfolio rubric that you guys can access. And it's um, taking the learning objectives from the chapter and showing me that you are able to do what the learning objective is instructing you to do. And then on Friday, we start the next chapter's notes. So there's a complete cycle there. And that's basically how your course is set up. Let me know if you have any questions.